my name's Terry, my call sign Golf 4 Papa Oscar Papa G4 POP and this tutorial's about how to set up the Telnet cluster in Logpro M version 2. So first of all you go to the connect window here, select Telnet cluster and you'll be presented this with this uh, film uh, form here. Select the clusters you want, I use uh, GB7 MBC which is here somewhere one of my favourite clusters and also I tend to use VE7CC which is uh, just there. So just add in the cluster, click on it, click the plus button and it's added to this active server list at the bottom. <coughs> you can have up to 10 clusters in this uh, active server box and the uh, results from all 10 clusters will then be aggregated into one final filtered result a display. I will yeah, just use a couple today. If you wish to add your own cluster, if your cluster, your favourite cluster is not in this extensive list, then click on the new button here and complete the form to the right uh, to complete the cluster information. Once you're happy with the uh, servers you've selected, just click on the connect button and you'll see in due course the uh, login has been done and uh, all the cluster spots are filling up quite rapidly so uh, obviously a lot of activity today uh, if uh, you wish to send a command to this list of commands here you can send to your, your cluster um, or you can send a spot by putting a call sign here if you wish to test that your uh, sending cluster spots works you can use the spot simulation here this will uh, send the spot you enter only to your own computer it will not go outside your own computer and actually go on the cluster but it's useful if you're wishing to test the results of a uh, uh, call sign that you're looking up but having uh, done that we can close this window down and you go to the cluster as you'll see all the spots which have been aggregated from those different uh, Telnet servers have been aggregated here, highlighted by the colours, uh, red for the two countries, uh, well, the one country here, Afghanistan is required, and uh, these other countries are required on these bands or modes, so which is a good idea what's going on. Um, we have a unique system with uh, signal to noise ratio and uh, propagation details, and if you click on the propagation tab, you'll see that you can see uh, what the likelihood of the contact is so we'll just pick one here and uh, we we'll double click on that call the uh, call sign's gone into the top here doesn't look like that one being looked up for any particular reason so let's try another one there we go that's better uh, it's done the look up <coughs> and uh, shows a, the picture of a QRZ here and if you want to check the propagation possibilities we can see the circuit reliability um, on 30 meters at this time of day <coughs> uh, is here and uh, the propagation results we'll just choose a 30 meter band this does take a second to generate because it's checking uh, all the grid references um, for the propagation results uh, to tell you what the, uh, the likelihood of a contact will be and uh, after a couple of seconds that will come up there you are and gives you a, a pretty map of where uh, propagation may be possible uh, given your uh, power output <coughs> and antenna or you can just look at the uh, the graph here where the circuit reliability is quite a good good one here so between six o'clock in the morning and three o'clock in the afternoon the likelihood of me working uh, this guy Francesco in Sardinia is about 80 percent 85 percent something like that uh, so uh, a good indicator and the cluster is quite a developed item now we have a reliability factor here of uh, the possibility of contact and of course the ranking the uh, club lock ranking was a desirable station uh, all manner of stuff there and you can add to it the uh, super cluster information by clicking this button at the, button at the top here and that will now collect all the um, super cluster information from hrdlock.net and add it into uh, our list 
So you've got uh, the maximum amount of information and most reliable information you'll get anywhere. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it's been of use to you. And uh, look out for more videos to follow. Thank you for watching.